and start talking. Hello and welcome to another edition of New Hope Art Gallery Feature Artist. And today we're talking with Carol Scavato. Carol has been working with us since really the very beginning um, at our old location. And now she's with us at a new location. So welcome Carol Scavato. How are you? Very well, Ricky. Thank you so much for continuing to show my work at this fabulous um, gallery that you have grown from a very small little institution to a humongous 350 pieces of work. <laughs> and a lot, a whole lot of craziness and in the process. Yes, we started with 15 spots, and now my life is out of control. It really is out of control. <laughs> I, I couldn't even fathom it. And what I brought for this particular show was parts of my flower series that are, they were very colorful, they're all oils, I'll, I'll, and yeah, um, so they all have names, and they were very fluid, and that one's called Symphony, the one next to it over here is called Winter Cherries. And you tend to work in, it wasn't it like about 25 pieces to the series? You Most tend to... series I tend to do that they have be anywhere between... 10 to 25 pieces, and then yeah. it's kind of a thought process. So once I've reached the end of a thought process, I go on to something else. So the flowers, it's not that I could never paint another flower, but I've kind of done the thinking on flowers. And anyway. now you, yeah, because you're on to completely different stuff now. Very, very different stuff. What, what kind of work are you doing now? So really, right now I'm doing pretty much collage work. That's a very conceptual kind of base work. Collage and video. So they're collages of body parts that are mismatched, of my body parts, other members of my family's body parts, and there's stories of why. There's videos of me reading my parents' love letters that have never been read except that I read them publicly, and it's about sharing their their personal life in a public way. And um, then there's other another video about uh, all of us wearing masks and how being masked. That's a hard word to say. <laughs> say that fast, ten times. The ten yeah. times fast. You, you misread or you just read somebody differently if they're wearing a white mask. So there's a video called Body Body, and there's a... a um, and then there was another vi the video with, we went to the Halloween party. That, oh, yes. That yeah. was the, the video you and I did together, and that was Continuum. So that one started 27 years ago with eight different... Um, life-size dolls that in in a dream they murdered me and so we turned it into actually it was film that it turned one. it into i think a show tune with song and dance with me involved everything <laughs> seems to end up show tunes and broadway for some reason i'm not sure why but that could be good or bad and that and, and so then there was two videos there was a video of when i had long brown hair and my in a video of the hair i have now and but ricky and i were the, the dates of the two people, and we went to a gallery opening, and we... And it was a Halloween party, I think. It at was the, yeah. Halloween, and it worked out really well that it was a Halloween party. Yeah, there were a few people a little freaked out by the, <laughs> by what was going on, but, you know, it was helpful that it was Halloween. It was helpful, as opposed to just something that was very um, conservative. It was not a conservative group to begin with, so therefore it was a little helpful, but it was yeah. a little intimidating for a lot of people. So and, lot so, and they ran, so the old and the new ran side by side right. at the same time. And that's all on my website. If you go on the, my website, on the bottom right-hand corner, it, it brings you to a link to my YouTube um, which will show you all my videos. And most of my videos are connected with the works that are, uh, if you just go to um, artworks, the different series quite often is connected with the video. And it will tell you there, this is what this is about, and explain what the whole thing is about, and that there's a video at the... Um, oh, so at, each video kind of goes along with a series with of... With some sort of a, sort, a visual yeah. image. They, okay. Most of them do. And so, and so now you're showing in New York too a lot now. With I, I lot. do. I get down there quite often, and um, I'm actually going down next week for Call for Chelsea. So there are different um, juried shows that I apply for and wind up networking with different people. This and is the only woman I know that enters more things than I do. <laughs> she tells me that she's trying to keep up with me, and I say I'm trying to keep up with her. So and we're, we're, run, we're running crisscross. The, the eventually, eventually, like today, our paths cross. We bump into each other, and yeah. What a support support you are to me for sure, as far as just how yeah, well, you are. Yeah, well, I try. You know, <laughs> I try my best. All right, well, let's kind of walk out of the sure. office. We're going to head down because. So um, Carol's got other work um, in all over the gallery. The gallery is really large, so we have another piece here. Um, 
And that was when I started branching a little bit away from some of the um, the flowers, and I started wanting to go started going into the figurative kind of work. And at this point, most artists have one of these one of these little figure little stands. Little posable, yeah. And I have one. I, they, most most yeah. of us do. And that one was. was it's always in my room. I was like, well, that, that could just land there. So, so he, he's in three different paintings. He's become a fixture he in some of your work. It was a sort of small series. There was only three of them. Yeah. Um, All right. And now we have more uh, flowers. Just, they're just flowers. That was actually a gift from um, my hairdresser at the time. She gave, and it, they, they were really, really beautiful. And sometimes painting something so beautiful is actually more intimidating because you don't ever know that you really can capture it can capture it or do it justice yeah nice and then we have one other piece here and just ignore the talking we're a very busy place here <laughs> just focus on our talking and what we're talking about yeah and this is another uh this, this is a scene in Tiverton okay. and just you know, Tiverton uh, Rhode Island is down on the water and it was kind of low tide and it was a stormy day and that was it, that's exactly what's there. Those, those those tires. Those tires are just at low tide show. So somebody probably had a dock attached to it at one point, and they just this the sculptural shapes of it were kind of cool. I just really it kind of oddly has like an Asian feel to it, it does, too. You know, how, a how lot is of my work has I like that's what I collect is Asian prints. Okay. Um, and so I am very strongly influenced by Asian. There's nothing work. like a nice Asian set of tires. And where was it? Warren brought back. Why are you laughing, giggling? Well, we're laughing. We just had some. Oh, sorry. We're, we tend to be giggly around here. Yeah, we, we have a little joke going on here. Yeah. <laughs> this is Tiverton. Okay, this different. Is okay. Yeah. Well, all right, let's head down this way. As you can see, we just had somebody walking by this place. Well, it's a very busy place. It's, it's there's hundreds of people. of people for lunch every day. We have probably, they cook about 300 meals and here. You can't complain about having and that amount of an audience. That's day. right. <laughs> Absolutely. And there's David. David, our wonderful assistant curator. And then Isabel is here for her, her video. She's one of our artists as well. Okay, where do we go? And then we've got some more of your work in the hallway, I believe. Um, and we'll have, s oh, we have some over here as well. Let's go down this way. This is another section of our gallery. And so these were here. A, a more in a color theme, as far as they were purple flowers. That's just what the name of them were. And you can see they, they really do have a very sculptural feel. They, they feel, to me, feel like dancing figures. Mm -hmm. um, now, how long does it kind of take you to do a painting this size? Some of them take a long time, because to draw them out, to put them in, to block them in, doesn't take that long. Yeah. Sometimes the coloring can take, which I guess coloring isn't the right word, but the uh, actually getting the colors that you want can take a long, long time. There's probably do you layer, you try I to do layer. you do the layering. So you know, yeah. it's Beautiful. like that was one color, then another color, then another color. And now we have one that's obviously blue. These are what blue bluebell <laughs> blue flowers. I love bluebell flowers. Well, that was some of them. You know, try to trying to hang like. A lot of paintings by a lot of artists and just can be so difficult to not only get them to look good but together but to remember the titles right. it's, can be impossible. That's why I try and write them on the back for, for yeah. um, everyone. And this one was really, it was also a color, as you can see, form is really Yeah, important. you were easy. You had, your, you know, yours had wires on them. We get some that aren't wired, aren't, you know, and I, they're like, I, how, how are we going to get this on the wall, you know? I do show enough that, that that's kind of like, you know, you better do that. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that's why we like home. you, because then, cause then I can, I don't have to threaten Carol, is what we're saying nicely. Not usually. I, not usually. I don't have to, you know, I have to send some threatening emails occasionally. Um, okay, now let's start down here. Actually, we have a piece that was sold, and I'm going to be removing that and taking that. This piece is called Lady Slipper. Correct. And yeah. that's nice. That's a beautiful piece. And it really reminds me very much like a big bug. Yeah, like a bug. Yeah. Um, in a very... Pray it has a pray a mantis. Pray mantis kind, yeah, yeah. It, yeah. Yes. So it in is a gorgeous. You know, if I could find a lady slipper that size, wouldn't that be awesome? <laughs> that would be very nice. That would be very awesome. Very, and very that, nice. This is... Um, from the coffee shop I go to, that's an actual plant. Oh. And, and I, at the time I knew the name of it, but it, it is that strange. It's like they're like little saucers, 
And it is really just... So that's not really a flower, it's just sort of part of the plant? It's just a plant, yeah. That's yeah. kind of like really what the leaf is. So I guess I branched out a little bit from flowers. Flowers and got some leaves in there. Well, that's good. It's yeah. good. Nice to try some different things. This is our main area, which is all new this time. And we'll just sort of head up. We have more work of Carol's upstairs. Um, we added about 27 or 28 pieces in this hallway. Um, and so we ended up with a nice mix of abstract pieces. Um, okay, here's another one. A pink flower. Pink. This is pink flower. <laughs> See, this was easy to hang when it said pink flower. We were, the four or five of us hanging were able to figure that, that this that was, was pink. pink. <laughs> yeah. Um, and so, I so you do draw everything out first usually, or I actually when I, this particular series really was drawn with the with ink, I with with, with, with paint, so, okay. but it was outlined. Okay. See, I sort of work weirdly. I don't kind of I don't know. I just sort of start globbing on the canvas and. I usually have a pretty good idea as far as the structure. The structure. And this one is. Um, Wild orchids, and orchids can look a little bit ominous, and this particular one is a little bit more ominous than some of my, color-wise, uh, than some of my others. Yeah, nice. Very, very nice. And so now are you still doing, this is a new piece that Carol just brought in. She sold a few pieces with us, so we're just replacing. Well, this was, you know, I tend much more to, to be at home with figures, and um, this one's just called Beach Ball, and it's just a, a, a abstracted, realistic couple at the beach mm -hmm. with um, her big glasses, and he's protecting her with his arm or with his, her hat. He's um, the beach umbrella? Yeah, he's the beach umbrella or the hat, so it's yeah. a little bit nice. whimsical, and I do like big feet, and people ask about it all the time, but most of my work have... Yeah, you do tend to have large. What is what is with that? Let's do. No. What, what 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 was your childhood like? Were you terrified by large feet chased in a dream? Yeah, and I so them. I'm not sure, but. there you go. We're gonna a little bit of therapy along with your tour, which is always nice. I want to start a side business of interviewing. This one's a little bit of an architecture um, painting, if you will. But uh, you know, as far as the story of the, it's just called the red dress. So, you know, it's just. You could read into it whatever you chose um, of him looking at her, her leaving. I don't think I've ever seen this piece before. No? No. You might not. Have. And yeah, that's uh, this. Yeah, no, I don't think I have. And interesting. Very nice. Now, this is all how, what, how, I mean, what year is this? These were probably 2012. Uh, okay. 11 or 12. Yeah, so, yeah, I mean, you do a lot of painting. I mean, I, I wish I could keep up with you on that because you're like up in the morning. She's up in the morning at the crack of dawn and painting. When I'm sleeping in bed saying, not with a bomb are you getting me up painting. Well, I don't do that quite so well anymore. Yeah. This one's just called, this one's actually one of my favorite paintings personally. And it, it's just called Rich Beauty. And um, again, you know, the over extreme legs and feet. But that, the feel of the sitting on a beach of being that, Relaxed, relaxed and the legs out. Yeah, no, it's nice. Well, I think it's from the ballet. That's where the feet come from. You can stand feet. higher or something. <laughs> and this is uh, just called the canal. I'm not pretending it's really Venice, but it could be. It could um, be. It could be Providence. Could be Providence. I think I see Buddy Sancy. I think he's in the window. He's in the window waving at us. <laughs> there you go. All right, and we're gonna we got a few more small pieces here that are flowers in the. As you can see, we have a massive, massive gallery. We have currently about 350 pieces hanging here. And this so is your holiday show, so this is a great timing for yeah, people to come out. It's a great time to come out and buy some holiday gifts, folks. Yeah. And, and we have two. We, well, we, we, these are new as well because we have sold a few other pieces. So Carol so brought some in. So these are just some, some small flowers that not everybody has places for a big ones. So that's like 12 inches by 12 inches. So Yeah, it's a nice size. Yeah. It, it a nice size for a wonderful holiday gift for yeah. anybody. Mm-hmm. And this is kind of goes one right more. with it. So if you, you know, they, yeah. they make a little pair. Good. Well, great. And as I see, we're reaching that 15-minute mark, which we never want to go past because YouTube hates me that way. Okay. So, yeah, I'm glad that you came out and visited with us today. And we'll be doing more of these as we, as hopefully, you know, as we start bringing newer pieces in. 
And uh, we look forward to everybody coming to our shows and to check out our videos. Thank you. Thank you, Mickey.